Hi, Jay. Oh, wait. oh, I don't need to. Hi, Lee. What are, you, what are you doing? I'm just reading the paper, getting the news, you know. <laughs> well, this first story is an interesting story about a kid lying to their mum and dad. Oh, dear. Okay. Is that a good news story? Or a bad news story? Bad news, okay. So if you think it's bad news, can you put your thumb down like that? (laughs) I guess it's boring, but bad. That's what we want to work out. Okay, here's another story. This one is about somebody saying things about behind their friend's back, things they wouldn't say to their face. Is that a good news story or a bad news story? Bad news story, okay. It's just all bad news in the paper today, isn't it? Oh, no. This one is about somebody stealing a cookie from the cookie jar. Is that? (laughs) It doesn't have the name. Good news or bad news? Bad news. Bad news. It sounds like you all know the difference, most of you, between good news and bad news. Whoa. This is actually great news. This is really awesome news. I don't think you understand. This is the best news I've ever heard. This is the kind of news that makes me want to stop living the way I'm living, live the way the person here wants me to live, follow them wholeheartedly and learn everything they teach. (laughs) Really? That's good. (laughs) Do you want to know it? Yeah, tell us what it is. No, I'm not going to. Okay. So, put up your hand if you can tell me how you think Lee feels knowing that I had the best news ever, the most wonderful news, and I didn't share it with her. I didn't tell her what it was. Sage, how do you think Lee feels? Oh, you want to know it too. So, you're feeling left out? Yeah, okay. I'm not happy. Fred, how does Lee feel? Disappointed. That's a good word. I know the best news ever. I didn't tell her. She's disappointed. She feels left out. Mia, how do you think Lee feels? Probably like that. Yes, sad. Okay. Put up your hand if you want to know the news. All right. I'll find it again. I've got the great news right here. Look at this. Okay, this is the great news. Jesus died, was buried, rose for my sins according to the Bible. And we actually just heard it in the Bible reading then. This is the gospel. You've heard this great news before and this is what the gospel means, the great news. In the sermon today, you're going to be hearing the word gospeling and that means you know this great news, you live it, and you share it because we know how bad it felt when we didn't know the good news when it was in there. So put up your hands if you can. Tell me someone you can share this good news with. Elsa? Yeah, friends, that's right. Yep, Sage? Uh, Same, friends, that's a good one. Last one, Nevi? Neighbours. Neighbours, yep, friends, neighbours, everybody because once we hear the gospel, if we're a gospeling church, We want to live it and let everybody know. You've got a new tool for us to pray. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, We would like two volunteers to pray for us with the help of this prayer cube. Do you think I could have a boy, one boy, one girl? How do you want? Bray. Thank you. Say just first. So, oh, this, that's all right. You sit here. Yeah. Um, you say, you say that one first, and then the opposite one. God, I'm sorry for not loving others. Thank you for sending. Thank, thank you, God, for sending Jesus. Thank you. Good. Amen. Amen. To another. And Someone you else? Yeah, Levi. You might have to have another brave person. Come on. Oh, you pretty can't read yet. Me. <laughs> He's nearly there. <laughs> Thank you, God, 
for saving us. Thank you, God, for heaven. Ooh, good Amen. one. Amen. Amen. And then I'll just finish. Thank you, Nidhi, and thank you. Oh, sorry. Um, all right. Dear Lord, thank you for the gospel, which is your story, and is the best news ever. Please help us to share the gospel and pray for the people we share it with. Amen. Amen.